This is a water heater in the Philippines and uh, more often the failure mode that is to say that the water, does, water heater doesn't work is because of the flow sensor is not working and it's not detecting the flow of water so how does it detect the flow of water inside this tube there is a magnet which uh, goes up and down it goes up when it detects water going in and when it doesn't detect even though there's water flowing in it's because of the, the magnetic uh, the magnet itself is stuck it won't go up so let me disassemble this part and explain how this thing works here I unscrewed the, the clamp uh, tracing this disconnect the magnetic grids uh, switch from the header and just loosen this part and this, this part will come apart will be disassembled so uh, you can then unscrew this magnetic switch and then once that you can then bring out the uh, mag magnet so the magnet itself is encapsulated in nylon so nylon is hydrophilic that is to say it will absorb water so this is specs nylon actually has a uh, it try not to uh, absorb water but uh, it seems like for this kind of uh, design it's better to use nylon than any other type of material so anyway, it will absorb water and it will expand over time. So in about 10 to 15 years, it has expanded uh, to the point where it gets stuck into the tube. And it won't move up and down anymore. Okay. So what people do uh, most often is to cut this off and then just short the two wires. And so the, the computer thinks that there's always water flowing, so it, it turns the heater on. Um, uh, people do this because uh, this part, where do you buy this part? That is to say, I can't find this part. I look for it. I search for it in the internet. Um, I couldn't find it. So, uh, so what is a person to, uh, to do? They just... Uh, cut this off, short it, and now the computer thinks it's always there's always water flowing. So how do we test the uh, magnetic reed switch is actually working? Uh, using a multimeter, uh, we can actually test that uh, the switch is working or not. Connected the uh, multimeter prong into the header, with the header, and then set uh, for a continuity test so uh, suppose there's water flowing now this uh, magnet will move up until it make contact with this uh, sensor okay so if there's water flowing it does what happens no water flowing that's uh, the switch will uh, open, close, open. So uh, that's how it detects uh, water flowing. So uh, if this thing is stuck, uh, it will no longer move up and down. And what people tend to do is they thinking maybe this is the part that's broken. It isn't. It's hard to damage. Uh, they cut this off, short the two and now the uh, water heater computer thinks it, the uh, flow there's always water flowing it turned the heater on and if people forget to turn the heater off uh, and turn off the water 
uh, it'll start to boil, burn. Uh, what else can it? Uh, what else will do? It'll probably expose conductors and potentially uh, become an electrical hazard. So uh, that's the that's a problem. So if you want to repair it properly, uh, first um, reverse it back to original. Find this part, buy it somewhere, and then um, connect it, and then assemble it properly. Uh, or assemble it as before so that's how you can bring back uh, water heater to safety standard uh, doing it in such a way to cut it off and uh, connect it and the computer always think uh, water is flowing it'll just turn the heater off it doesn't have a second water sensor and um, it, it depending on how dumb it is this computer it'll turn the heat the uh, water heater uh, as long as it wants to typically there is a uh, temperature fuse there but uh, sometimes it's too late for it to to activate and uh, it'll just fail also so although it, it has a safety Sometimes this safety is also uh, is not working, and so there is a potential hazard, conductor exposed, and a person can become diseased. Uh, uh, due to the un unsafe, due to the unsafe uh, water heater, uh, so this is really uh, important to make sure the flow sensor is working. And if it's not working and you can't find the parts, I advise that you get another, buy a brand new one. Here I place the uh, mag magnet back into the uh, tube. So to show that it's how it works, suppose water is flowing. That's water flowing. And suppose water is turned off. So that's how it works. Neat. Isn't it?